What's your name and where are you reporting from? Okay. First question. Welcome back. Thank you. I appreciate that, Russ. Not sure. I'm not sure of your history, but coming in draft, no, you and Russell, same draft class. I know you guys competed in college. Right. Not sure how many times or not. Like, can you walk me back to that moment where you guys did play each other in college and go into the draft? Yeah, yeah, it was a uh, beautiful, uh, you know, March afternoon in Anaheim, California. We're playing the UCLA Bruins that are, you know, just up the street. So you could probably sense there was going to be some cheating going on. But uh, ultimately, we ended up losing the game to uh, Russell. Well, uh, Donald Sloan got fouled at the basket by Josh Shipp and Darren Collison. It was not called, obviously, because we were in Anaheim. Uh, so Russell and his team went on to advance. And uh, <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing this stuff. OK. Can we get some real questions now? DeAndre, uh, so as Russ said, he talked a lot with you to kind of get the pulse of uh, the culture in Denver. Mm -hmm. What was your sales pitch, I guess, to him? I on? told him to just get his ass over here. We needed him to come here and play. Um, no, he, I, Russ is obviously a great player. His game and track record speaks for itself. Um, I just felt like with a guy like Russ, his intensity, his demeanor, um, what he brings to the basketball floor on both ends of the court, I thought that he could definitely help us, and we were trying to pitch him that we needed him, and um, he was all on board with it. Um, I think that you know, Russ brings a different culture and a different mindset to a team, a different energy. Um, and I think for guys like Jamal and Peyton and Christian, Julian, guys like that, he is going to help them tremendously, in my opinion. And I think that he's going to be that burst of energy that we need on both sides of the, of the floor. DeAndre, from your perspective as a, a veteran leader, when you look at last season trying to repeat, how hard that was. Condensed early season schedule and then the battle in the West was really tough late. What, what was something that you kind of like took away from the attempt to repeat last year that this team needs to keep in mind this season? Um, you know, obviously, uh, I think going back to back is extremely tough. There's been a handful of teams that have done it and that's, I, I think it's a really difficult thing to do. That's, with, that's no excuse to, you know, why we didn't win a championship last year. It's, it's, it's hard to win one time. Um, but I think that we had a couple lapses last season. Um, we dealt with some injuries. We dealt with some things where obviously we uh, came up sh just short. We have to do a better job finishing games, in my opinion. But we learned from those mistakes, I feel like, and, you know, going back and looking at the numbers and um, how we performed last year. We had a, I thought we did a really great job last season. You know, we played great in the playoffs. We were uh, top 10 offense and defensive team throughout the course of the season. And we just, we just came up short. And I think that with the new additions on our team, we're looking to build on the things that we uh, did last year and improve and you know, hopefully have be the last team on the, on the floor standing in June. That's our goal. DeAndre, what's the, the, um, the pathway for you know, a guy like you being an all-star, all-NBA guy, to, to transitioning to a mentor and, and being a veteran leader um, in the locker room, and you know, frankly, you know, accepting that you're not going to play every night or every other night, and, and yeah. still being ready mentally and physically. How, do, how does that work for you? Well, I think if you would have asked me this question 10 years ago, my ego would have been in the way. Um, but as I've gotten older and I've experience a lot of things. I, I feel like my ego is out of it, and I think that um, it's bigger than just me. I, I still love the game. I still love to compete. I still love to be around the guys and, and help my teammates and see their success. Um, and I think that um, you don't have to be on the floor necessarily to be able to help or see things and you know be, have an impact. 
Um, but to answer your question, I feel like um, it's – as long as the team is doing fine, there it's it's okay with me. And I, there are nights where I am going to play. There are nights that I'm going to start, you know. And it's um, I, you have to be ready. You have to be a professional throughout the course of this this game in your career. And uh, I feel like I've done that. DeAndre, I, w I wanted to ask you about Duran, uh, somebody who you probably have gotten to know over the course of just these last couple months. When somebody, especially somebody young, suffers an injury like that, it's, it can take them away from the team. It can kind of help them check out. How do you keep guys like that engaged and, and ready to go mentally? Um, you said who? Uh, Deron Holmes. Uh, oh, rookie. Rook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he, we, he doesn't really have a name just yet. But um, Rook is uh, – I, I watched him a little bit throughout um, their practices uh, before summer league, and obviously he had a – uh, a, a tough break uh, with that. Um, but I think that our team does a really great job of just including guys throughout the process, regardless of if they're injured or not. Um, and he's, his spirits have been high the past couple of days that I've been here. Um, and we still laugh and joke and make fun and make him still do rookie stuff. You know, he's all crutches, so he can walk around and do things that we need him to do. Um, but I think just when you're injured, as long as you're around the team and you're still in the locker room, you still get that energy and you're not feeling isolated, I think that's the best part of um, – that can help your rehab out a lot. DJ, was there uh, – was it an inevitability you'd be back or was there thoughts you'd look elsewhere, you'd maybe think about – I just not... didn't clean out my locker room, so I just was like, you know. <laughs> no, nah, we had a conversation um, shortly after the season and um, – I knew this is where I wanted to come back and play. I knew we had some unfinished business. This is a great culture. It's a great city. Uh, I love the team, the fan base. So it was kind of like a, it was a no-brainer for me. I really enjoyed my time here and, um, you know, got some more memories to make, so. All right, y'all have a good one.